Hello friends, today in this video, I am going to discuss about the models of DNA replication. Okay, so at first, the main basic concept of DNA replication is that it is a process to make a identical copies of the parental DNA or to make a replica of the parental DNA. So that is the DNA replication to make identical copies of parental DNA. Okay, so now how this how these identical copies are made or in what manner this DNA replication can be done. So all of these things are described by different scientists in their different models. Okay, so now let's talk about the whole different models of DNA replication. Okay, so at first in 1953 when the DNA double helix structure was discovered by Watson and Crick, they also predicted the DNA replication process. They predicted that DNA replication may be done by maybe copied DNA. DNA may be copied by semi-conservative method. So now let's talk about the semi-conservative model of DNA replication. So at first this is the parental DNA strands and at first this parental DNA, the two double-stranded DNA is get separated from each other and both of these parental DNA strands act as a template to make new DNA strands. Okay, and that's why it is also called a template model. Okay, so here both the DNA strands at first get separated from each other, then it acts as a template to make new copies of the DNA molecule. So this is the semi-conservative model, and it is called semi-conservative model because here the one DNA strand of each one DNA strand of the parental DNA, each of this one DNA strand is present in the new progeny DNA molecule. That's why, that means the one DNA strand of the parental DNA is conserved in both the progeny molecule and that's why it is called the semi-conservative model of DNA replication. Okay, so now some another scientist didn't agree with this semi-conservative model of Watson and Crick because their because their uh, question is that the DNA molecule is very large and they coiled or tangled with each other very tightly. So how this whole DNA molecule gets separate and act as a template to make DNA new DNA molecules. So it may not be possible. So they predict another new model of DNA replication that is called the dispersive model of DNA replication. So here the parental DNA at first make some segments, make copies of small segments of parental DNA and then all the small segments of parental DNA and all the new copies of the new copies, um, new segments of copied DNA are mixed up with each other and make a mixture of whole DNA molecule. So here the segments segments of parental DNA and segment of new copy DNA all are present in both the new DNA molecules. Okay. And it is called dispersive model because here the parental DNA molecule is dispersed in whole DNA, whole new DNA molecules. And that's why it is called dispersive model of DNA replication. Okay. So now then some another new scientist, new scientists predict that there may be some another model for DNA replication and they termed it as a conservative model. And in conservative model, the parental DNA remains same at all the time in new progeny. That means this, this parental DNA parental DNA uh, conserved in new progeny but they helps to make whole new DNA molecule. So the two new progeny one get whole parental DNA molecule and another get whole new DNA molecule. So as here the parental DNA molecule is conserved in all the generation in only one progeny it is conserved in one progeny so that's why it is called the conservative model of DNA replication okay now 
all of these models are just a prediction nobody knows about the actual model of dna replication okay until the meselson and stull show their experiment so meselson and stull showed meselson stull uh, done their experiment with all of this with all of this model and ultimately proved that the semi conservative model of dna replication is the correct model for dna replication okay thank you for watching this video